So as we've been in our series, Life Beyond the Meltdown, and talking out of 1 Samuel 30, when the Amalekites sacked and burned David's city, I want to continue with that today. I've got a word for you, uh, something very powerful that the Lord has given me. And you're not only going to be encouraged today, God's going to drop a revelation on you about where you've been and what's really been behind your warfare. So as the story goes, you know this, we've been talking about it for Samuel 30, David and his men come home from a business trip and they discover that their city has been invaded, raided, sacked, and burned. And I want you to think about the burning element. Uh, They had burned it to the ground, the scripture says, with fire. And it is out of that that there's a whole lot of dysfunction. There's the meltdown. And then, you know, we've been talking about it. There's turnaround beyond the meltdown. What I've been saying is there's life beyond the meltdown. And I want you to think about the fire and life, those two dimensions, because here's the word that the Lord has given me for you. And that is that your meltdown, in your meltdown, your life has passed through the fire. Isaiah 43, verse 2, the Lord says, when you pass through the fire, I will be with you and the flame will not scorch you. I want you to think about that for a minute. When you pass through the fire, when you go through that fiery trial, that fiery season, when something melts down on you, the flame will not scorch you. So David recovers his sense of identity, his kingship, his ability to pursue and to overturn it. So there is a recovery mandate that he's got on his life. And I want to tell you that today, God has uh, commissioned a recovery mandate upon your life. And what that means is that the things that melted down on you, the flames you've been through, those fiery things that you have been walking through, ultimately, when God begins to do what he has covenanted to do, it will be as though they didn't touch you. And what I mean by that is they can't, they can't, consume what God has covenanted with you about. So you've been passing through the fire. Watch this. Here's the word the Lord gave me. Because your life has been a burnt offering. You have been a sweet sacrifice. You've been walking through the fire because the Lord has seen you in the fire as a burnt offering, as a sweet sacrifice. And the word sweet that is used in the scripture talking about the fragrance that comes off of the sacrifice, God says, I will I will receive that sacrifice as a sweet fragrance, a sweet aroma. It's like a precious perfume that has a heavy price associated with it. And that's the word the Lord gave me today is that you have been a burnt offering. You have been tried by fire and that that you have been moving through you, your life before the throne of God, even when you weren't aware that God was aware of of the the fiery trial of the fiery season you've been moving through. The Lord said, I saw your life as a burnt offering when you got touched by fire, but it's not going to scorch you because I am moving to bring vindication, justice, and restoration to your life. But the the main thing that the Lord began to emphasize so strongly with me today is that he has seen you in your fiery trial as a burnt offering and how you've moved through it your willingness to trust him in it, your perseverance in the place of the fiery trial. The Lord says, you have been to me a sweet, savory aroma, a fragrance. Your life is a sweet fragrance to me. And the Lord's going to respond to your sacrifice. Here's a cool thing about God. He always responds to faith sacrifice. You have been faithing your way through the fire. And he has seen you as a burnt offering. So when he says in Isaiah 43 too, when you go through it, it won't scorch you. It won't consume what I have covenanted with you about. It won't consume you. You're going to come through it. You're going to move beyond it. So God is moving you into life beyond the meltdown because in your meltdown, he has seen your life as a burnt offering, as a sweet aroma. There's something precious about you to him. I want to say that again. There's something so precious about you to him. So I want to wrap up by saying this. God has seen you as a burnt offering in this season of fiery trial and circumstance that you've been through. He's seen your response and how you've run to him. 
you've been moving through it with some hard questions and some deep sacrifice. But the Lord says, I am moving to honor your faith. I'm moving to reward your trust in me. You've been a burnt offering, but what is sown in weakness, Jesus said, gets raised in power. So you're coming out of your fiery trial. You're coming out of your burnt offering season. And the Lord says that he is moving you from ashes to abundance. Yes, I want to say that again. The Lord says, I've seen your life as a fiery trial. You've been a sweet sacrifice to me in that trial. And now I'm going to move you from ashes to abundance. That's why he says in Isaiah 43 too, that the, the flame you move through won't consume you. I wanted to get on today and share this with you. It is so profound. I want you to allow this word I'm releasing right now to shape your perception and your understanding of how the Lord has perceived you in the place you've been moving through. And yes, once again, I'm going to close this time with this. The Lord is moving you from ashes to abundance because he is honoring the sacrifice of the burnt offering that you have been in your fiery season.